So we recently hit 600,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. So in celebration, I invited eight of you guys onto my server to build me a Bloxburg house. So these are the eight people that I have chosen and each of them will be allocated a different type of room. For example, we've got someone doing the kitchen, the living room, the bathroom, front yard, the list goes on. We have a whole construction team. But not only this, but I also said that you guys have to finish the house in one hour. They are on a one hour time limit and they'll each have a different budget to work with. And if you guys want to participate in a future video like this, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. So that being said, let's get started. So here is today's construction team. We've got Marilyn Monroe. We have a clown. They've literally been here so long that they are starting to stink. So um, I think it is finally time for them to build the house. As you can see, this is the shell of the house and now all they have to do is decorate it. Okay, the one hour timer starts now. Oh, okay, they already beat me in build mode. Like, calm down. It has literally not even been five seconds and we've already got a refrigerator, a table, and a fence. I also told them to surprise me with whatever theme they want to do. This is kind of scary. The last time I hired you guys to build me a Bloxburg house, you guys want to know how it turned out like? This is how it turned out like. Someone built the North Pole on my roof. This one is a little bit more organized, so hopefully we'll get a proper structure going on. As you can see, when you walk in, this is going to be the living room. And we've already got a fireplace. And the living room kind of goes into the kitchen back here and swoops into the dining room. And then over here, we've got my bedroom, the bathroom, and the garage. We've also got a pretty big front yard, so I'm really excited to see what they come up with with this. The thing with this challenge is that it does take a lot of teamwork because they do kind of have to bounce off of each other. I love how Irresistible is talking us through his process, doing a feature wall. We obviously need a fireplace. <laughs> okay, it's already been four minutes and they've made actually a lot of progress, surprisingly. The one thing I am concerned about is the fact that there's gonna be like eight different themes in the house. <laughs> also, my room, this is gonna be my bedroom, by the way. Look how beautiful this is already. Like this whole curved thing is just mwah, chef's kiss. Okay, so the original plan was to ask them to build me a traditional Japanese slash Zen home. And when I said that, they gave me blank stares. They're like, Alaska, I don't know how to do that. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I just told them they can use whatever theme they want. I have high hopes for my bedroom. Look how it's, I don't know why. It's giving me like spaceship vibes. Oh, okay. There's a lot going on in the front yard. The person doing exterior is currently working on painting the house. Looks like we're having a brick house today. <laughs> Someone just goes, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't usually use bricks for my exterior. So this is going to be kind of fun. Also, the garage is doing a really good job as well. Like back here, I love the little LED lights on the wall. Oh my God. Look at the living room. The living room is on a roll right now. This is beautiful. Like the roof. Oh my lord. Okay, they have exactly 50 minutes left and the house value is already at $35,000. It's gonna be one expensive house. <laughs> I go 50 minutes left and everyone's like, already? 50, help, no. Oh my gosh, someone said I'm literally up at 2 a.m. for this. I don't know why you do this. Every single time I invite you guys onto my videos, you're like, currently 4 a.m. for me. And I'm like, <gasps> okay, backyard. So far, they've just added like a tree. Oh, it looks like the garage got rid of their sink and is instead adding a laundry room. You can tell there's two different people working on the house right now because so far the living room is completely different to the kitchen oh the backyard got rid of the tree and is now adding a fountain i'm glad you guys are giving me a fountain in my house there better be some touches of green in my house if you know me you know my favorite color is green so i'm wondering what they're gonna put back here and if they're gonna change these doors i don't know who picked like the most standard doors but give me some nice luxury modern doors please here he goes oh my god this pond be looking like a gateway to hell oh yeah that's that's a very questionable pond but we love it we love to see it oh someone is adding fairy lights at the front of my house. How scrumptious. Okay, what's going on in the backyard? Why is there a swing coming out of the fence? This bedroom is actually looking so cute. We've got some square pillars. Is this meant to be my bed? Like, I love reading the chat. It's so funny. Someone goes, I have the Ken song stuck in my head. And Irresistible goes, the Ken song is amazing. And then Isabella goes, for real. Wow, I love when my subscribers bond over the Ken song from Barbie. I'm just Ken. Anywhere else I'd be a turn. Oh my lord. Look at this living room. I don't think I've ever had a living room this luxurious before. Damn, I should get you guys to build for me more often. I can tell this kitchen is actually going to be amazing. It has like a really good layout to it. And I actually love these craftsman cabinets. I don't use them much, but I definitely should. I don't know what vibe everyone's going with though. That's what's confused. Whoa, okay. The bedroom's going to be a Japanese style, isn't it? Oh my days. The person working on the front yard keeps deleting and then like redoing it. So far, I kind of like what they're doing. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a flat roof. Oh, that's kind of creative. Wow, this backyard is actually looking so pretty. It's giving me like when you go to your grandma's, this is what their backyard looks like. It's kind of cute. I like the little birdhouse at the back here. I used to actually
actually own a birdhouse. Do you guys want to hear a funny story? So I don't know if you've ever watched the Tinkerbell movie, but pretty much this girl, she had this little bird box and she turned it into like a fairy house and she would collect fairies. So when I was little, I bought a birdhouse and turned it into like a little fairy house. And every single day I would check if fairies flew into my birdhouse. <laughs> Okay, bathroom is doing really well. I don't know why there's just a random toilet paper stand in the middle of the bathroom, but I'm not gonna question it. I like the way they've done the shower though. That is really creative. Oh, guys, the garage is giving me green walls. They have heard me. Did I not say before that I wanted green walls somewhere? Beautiful. <laughs> Someone goes, if I don't finish, Alaska's the one to blame. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I feel like I should be helping them. I just said, is there any room you guys want me to do? I'd appreciate the entryway, sob. Okay, I can do the entryway, no problemo. So the entryway is here here. I think I'm going to base the entryway off the living room because I want it to be similar. The person doing the living room is going to love me because I'm going to match it to their living room. It looks like they have a modern traditional living room so I guess that's what we can do for the entryway. Firstly, we're going to get rid of these doors because let's be honest, they kind of suck. And I feel like a nice painting here as soon as you walk in would be kind of cute. I guess we can put a chair like in the corner with some pillows. You know what? I miss my pillows. The pillows at the hotel that I'm staying at absolutely suck. And sometimes when I'm sleeping, I just think how many people have slept on these pillows and I'm just like Ugh. even when I'm at a restaurant if I'm eating from one of the utensils I'm just like I am disgusted I am disgusting okay so far I think the entry area is actually pretty cute oh <gasps> I've lost track of time guys we've only got 30 minutes left I'm sorry oh my gosh is this what it's like for you guys to build like on a timer this is why I do an awful job at being in a build battle hey why am I scared my hands are shaking is this the pressure that I put on you guys I'm gonna speed build this yeah you've seen dreams speed build minecraft but have you seen Alaska Violet speed build a house in Blocksburg okay what else do we need we need a carpet oh my gosh mate I'm scared I'm scared we've also got this awkward section here so uh I guess we can have like a bench with like a hook rack. I never knew how fast time goes when you're building. That's crazy. Okay, the last thing we're gonna add is just a few more paintings and that is it. Okay, the entry area is done, thankfully. Let's see how everyone else is going. Oh my gosh! We've got a green kitchen. You can definitely tell there's two people working because we've got detailed flooring in the first half and then the second half, you just have one layer of floor. I feel sorry for the person doing the kitchen because I did give them the job of the kitchen and the dining room. So we might not have a dining room, but it's okay. Oh my days. <gasps> Look at this bedroom. How are the plants doing that? I haven't checked on the bedroom in a while, but this is beautiful. Oh, we've got a really big chandelier in the bathroom. I feel like I may potentially hit my head on that, but as for the person doing the backyard, they are doing an exceptional job. This is beautiful. Everything is like thought out so well. Oh, we haven't checked on the garage in a bit. Oh, damn. Look at this garage. Oh, wait, you know who else we haven't checked? The front yard. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, the person doing the front yard and the person doing the exterior of the house. This is actually stunning. I've never had a front yard like this. It's really creative. Um, we've got a little bit of a problem. The person doing the front yard, this is meant to be a driveway, you know, where the car comes out. I don't know how we're gonna get our car out of the driveway if there's a fountain. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how, but they have 20 minutes left and they still have a lot to do. And I have no idea if they're gonna finish in time. <laughs> it's fine. If they don't finish in time, not only will I not have a house in real life, I also won't have one in Blocksburg. <laughs> okay, you know what? while we let them build should we have a look at their plots okay whose is this over here oh okay we've just got some dinosaur eggs italic why do you have dinosaur eggs on your plot okay who is this person porter okay it looks like porter is building a beach home <laughs> as soon as i walk in it goes beach house oh wow i love this house this is de this is definitely s wait is that my initials hold up someone has my initials in their office that is so cute and lastly we have a house over here oh this is giving me like italian villa vibes we've got the custom trees oh what's what's going on here isabella you're planning a little child army like <laughs> I think this might be a boarding school or something because we have like a lot of chairs in here. <laughs> Why did someone add a stuffed Santa into my inventory? I'm scared. I think the person doing the kitchen is done because now they're working on the dining room. <laughs> I'm laughing at the fact that this person still has a fountain in their garage. Oh, okay, garage. We've got some pink motorbikes. Oh, I would so drive around in that. Why does this feel like Barbie's garage? I kind of vibe it though. Okay, dining room. Hello. Out of all of the doors, you know what doors they choose? These standard doors. Actually, the dining table is kind of cute. I like the idea of having a small dining table instead of like a grand one. Actually, let me know in the comments if you guys actually eat at your dining table. Because I don't. I literally just eat on the lounge. Sorry, I'm not fancy. Okay, they now only have 13 minutes left. Okay, let's see what the bedroom's up to. Oh, this is so cute. This is actually generally like my dream bedroom. One thing the bedroom doesn't have though is a uh, lighting. 
<laughs> person doing the living room though is like killing it. Okay, with 10 minutes left, I genuinely don't know if they're gonna finish in time. And by the looks of it, the front yard's still not removing the fountain. So um, it's fine. When you have to use your motorbike, you just have to kind of maneuver your way around this. Harry goes, I wonder what Alaska is thinking right now. I'm thinking with eight minutes left, where on earth is the driveway? They just go crash into the fountain. Let's hope they haven't forgot anything. For some reason, they still decided to use these god awful standard doors. I don't know why. Is that a plain marking on my floor? Let's get rid of that. Oh no, Irresistible goes, I hope she didn't stalk our plots. Yeah, I promise I didn't stalk your plots. <laughs> hey yo, what's with the random decals at the front yard? And this, why is there a massive basic shape? Hey, you know what? I'm actually gonna hop on out of build mode and wait for the timer to go off. As you can see, a few people have already finished. You know what? I'm kind of excited to see what the plot value is. This house so far, it kind of looks like a typical like 70 to 100k house. But I don't know. With you guys, you guys have expensive taste. Oh my gosh, who is adding plants to the roof? One minute left, y'all. Be scared. Shaking in my socks. I'm shaking in my crocs. They are terrified. Why do I do this to them? Shaking in my Air Force Ones. <laughs> and time. Okay, the total plot value comes to to 247,000. Oh my gosh. Yo, what did you spend in there? Yo, the plot value. 247k. Here we have the exterior of the house. You know what? It's actually not too bad. I really like it. I like the amount of deep. Is that RuPaul from RuPaul Drag Race? <laughs> what? I'm crying. Okay, so firstly, we have the front yard. You know what? The person who done the front yard done a really good job, except for the fact they did not add a driveway. Instead of a driveway, they have a fountain, which is blocking the garage. And then in here, we've got the garage. Oh, I don't know what theme they went with exactly, but I am loving these pink motorbikes. See, guys, look at this. Let's say I'm driving on my motorbike. How am I meant to get out? Huh? Look at this. This is not safe. Who needs a driveway when you have a fountain? Yeah, true, true. Hi, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga? <laughs> no, babe. That's RuPaul. <laughs> okay, the entry area is actually made by yours truly, myself. Oh, I forgot to change the decals. That's that's great. Okay, and then over here, we've got the living room. This living room is honestly so cute. I think it fits all of us, to be honest. Let's have a look. It's kind of giving like a luxurious modern vibe. Why does it feel like I'm in like a school meeting right now? And, like, that's my principle. This back bit is actually really cute. I like the water back here. Let's hope the water doesn't like wet the book. Is that a photo of me on the... Okay, all right, moving on. And then over here, we've got the green kitchen. This is everything. I love green kitchens. So I think Ange done the kitchen. So Ange done a really good job on this. It's kind of giving me like cottage core vibes. Uh, where are the limes? I love limes. <laughs> I love them. What do you do with all those limes? I actually didn't even know that they were in there. There's no toaster to make toast. Well, luckily for you, I have celiac disease, which means I'm allergic to toast. So don't really need a toaster, do I? I also have a dining room here. Thankfully, I was afraid that we were going to run out of time to actually add a dining table, but luckily we did not. Wow, a photo of our Lord and Savior. I think they all like the photo of Gordon Ramsay. Okay, back here we've got the backyard. I said it before and I will say it again, this backyard is beautiful. They literally added everything you need. They also added the swing the wrong way. I love the fountain. What I don't like though is um this spider. It looks like I'm just watching my children play in the backyard. Is that a furry? Okay, now we also have the bathroom, which is in here. Oh, wow, you know what? I actually didn't check the bathroom much. I want it to kind of be a surprise, but they've done a really good job. I love the big vanity table over here. I'm definitely going to be using this. Why is everyone staring at Ange on the toilet? Alaska, is that enough toilet paper for you? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, actually, I might need more, to be honest. Who's in here? Oh, what the hell, boy? What the hell? I like the shower. I like how this is like a big open concept. You know what I love about the shower? The fact they added a stool. This is really creative. Got a nice toilet here. I'd appreciate if you you know, didn't stare at me on the toilet. I'm just screenshot. Oh my God. You know what happens when I sit on a toilet? You guys upload it onto decals for the whole of Bloxburg to see. Everyone and their mum can now see this photo. Okay, now lastly, we have the bedroom, which is what I'm most <gasps> excited about. Oh my days, not my best. Are you kidding me? This is beautiful. We've got a massive closet with all my green clothes. Good job, Italic. We've also got my desk here. Dear diary. Oh, this person's writing in their diary. Today, I embarrassed myself putting a swing set backwards <laughs> Okay, now lastly, we have the bedroom. Oh, I actually have no words. Can I sit in here? Oh, wow. I, I love these bed sheets. They're, they're amazing. I love sleeping in wood. Okay, but generally, I would sleep in... Excuse? Get off of me. Okay, but overall, they done a pretty good job in building my house. So I'm definitely excited to start living in here, you know? Now that I have um 600,000 Alaskians, I'm actually a pretty big Bloxburg mom. So I might have to add a few more bedrooms to fit all of you guys in. <laughs> I'm gonna do the outro like this, guys. Thank you to these eight 
eight amazing people for building my dream Bloxburg house. And again, thank you guys for 600,000 subscribers. This is absolutely insane. And I'm very excited to see what the future has in store. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.